So today I've got a fun little project for you. We'll start with these all thread. I've got four of these. I found them in a bucket on the side of the road. They're stainless steel. I bought eight self-locking nuts. This is three eighths by 12 inches long. I've got my oscillating multi-tool and I picked up a new blade for it. The old blade, after going through about two sets of tires, it's pretty slick, it's pretty worn out. The new blade is the right width and it has bigger teeth. It's a wood blade. We're gonna try that out today. Okay, this turf tire, we're gonna cut it. And I've also got some paint. I'm gonna try to match this wheel to go on my pulley swap pool line. Wait till you see what we're doing. If you've not already figured it out, wait till you see what we're doing. So here's my pulley swap pool on and I'm experimenting with putting dualies on the back. So we're gonna start with this wheel first. I'm gonna do a little sanding on the wheel. Then we're gonna paint the wheel to match. Then we're gonna turn it into a paddle tire. I'm gonna cut and then we're gonna bolt it onto the lawnmower. Okay, wheel update. I've done some light sanding. I've got some paint thinner and I'm taking off all the fingerprints. I've got the valve stem covered up with a socket. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bags off of this first tire, and I can wrap the second tire. And I'm gonna let this dry all night. We'll put these on the mower tomorrow. <coughs> so I bought this new blade last night at Walmart. I risked it, see if it was gonna fit. It does fit. I've already lined up the holes. And this blade was about two dollars, I think two eighty-six, less than three bucks at Harbor Freight. Seems like they were about twelve. We're going to see how it works. I'm excited to see how good this blade does in comparison with the bigger teeth. Should work better. Now to answer the question, does the Walmart blade work better than the original blade? Yes, 100% better. I've been sitting here just a few minutes. Got this tire mostly cut. I decided I better stop and show you how fast it goes. I've only got two more little knobs left. And after cutting the whole tire, the blade still looks good. We wore a little paint off of it, but it still looks good. This is the first time I've done it with it off the mower. It's actually really nice. You can move it around, reposition it. I like that better than on the mower. And in case you want to see more, I'll leave you a card showing how I did it on my zero turn. So here we are out in the lawn trailer. I've got two painted wheels, two cut turf tires, four all thread studs, eight nuts, a ratchet with a deep well 9 16 and a 9 16 wrench, and my jack. If we look over at the mower, this will be the before. We're about to put the dualies on it. So the wheels I just painted, they're identical to these wheels. They've got the same holes, they're the same size, same width, but the axles are different. So if you're thinking, just take these off, put these on the outside, put the other ones on the inside, you wouldn't have to paint them. That would have worked except for different axles. So those are now painted. I will run the studs through the holes. So I'm gonna take this wheel and I'm gonna line up the holes straight up and down. Then I'll slide the new one on with the holes straight up and down. Now I just gotta put the nuts on, tighten them up. And so now, even though it's raining, I've got one of the dualies on. The rain just means there'll be plenty of mud to test them. We'll be trying those out here soon. And now we'll repeat on side two. Okay, side number two is now on. I'm gonna lower it down. We're getting ready for a test drive. And I can think of two things. If I put the trailer on and I turn sharp, the tire might rub on the trailer. And B, if this tire ever needs air again, I'm gonna take this tire off. What I might do in that case, if I decide to run these long term, I might cut the center hub out. Then I can air up the inside tire with this tire on. So I've got the lawn cart on and this wheel wants to be painted some kind of yellow orange. And the good news is it matches the reflector. I'm gonna pivot the trailer 
We're going to see where it hits the tire at. Yeah, right about there. If you were turning sharp, it's going to be a little bit of a... We'll either extend the trailer tongue or just don't turn sharp. And right before I started, I also rebuilt this starter just the other day. However, the battery is dead. I put headlights back in. I'll turn them on for you. And I put in a new key switch. Well, a new used key switch. 